All right, as you have seen in my previous video, I have a Canon, and the model number is a SX 420 IS. I have been using this camera to video my heating and air videos for my channel and in a previous video I showed you how that I put this windbreaker here on here and I have been testing it to see if it actually works or not if it's even worth putting this little pom-pom on here and see if it will knock down enough of the wind noise since this does not have a external plug for a external microphone the video itself is great quality and the pictures and the zoom and all that I have come to believe and seen for myself that it is worth getting this camera if you need something just to start with that has great quality, has a lot of features that you can set the um, quality of your videos and your pictures, but you don't want anything that like the lens change or you know, like if you're going to shoot in low light, you change the lens. If you're going to shoot a long distance, like if you're watching a football game or um, soccer game or any of your kids or anything like that, any kind of event that you want to really get close to, this camera will do it. It has a 20 megapixels. The zoom is 42x optimal. It's not digital, so it don't get grainy. It does have a built-in flash, which I do not use because I'm always in the daylight or a light on the inside, wherever I may be. Which, putting this on here, it does cover the lens itself because whenever you lift up here, it hinges right here so this is actually in the way but that's okay in my everyday use it don't have a lot of buttons to use and all that but it does have simplified button to use as you can see right here on the back you turn it on which is a button right here turn it on if you want to record it's plain and simple the little red button right there you push the little red button and you start recording you don't have to change lens or anything like that it has Wi-Fi which I connected to my Google Drive account so I can actually just push the button and it uploads it to my Google Drive. Then I have access to all the videos and photos on my studio computer, on my phone, on my laptop. So it's very convenient of having that feature. You can actually have it to transfer the photos and, and uh, videos from the camera. To your phone as well but let me show you one feature I love about it in the taking photos as I mentioned when you're at a sport event or any kind of event at all that you need to get close but you're just not a physically able to get that close let me show you what the zoom on this can do for you. Now, I'm going to show you some photos here. Now, 
this is me sitting in my work van one day and I said, well, let, I'm going to test the Zoom and see how well it is. Here I am sitting in a coffee shop parking lot doing some paperwork, having my coffee. Now, if you look right in the middle of the screen, you see a white building. If you look real close at the bottom of that white building, you see a white little speck. Well, believe it or not, that is a truck, a pickup truck. Now, let me zoom in just a little bit. You see a car right next to the truck traveling down that road. Now let me zoom in just a little bit more. Now you can really see the truck that I saw. I couldn't see it much by the naked eye, but I knew there was a truck there. Now let me zoom in just a little bit more. Now remember, I'm sitting in a coffee shop on the other side of the street. Zoom in a little bit more. I have not moved. I just keep hitting the zoom. Now let me zoom in the maximum what this camera can do. Now this is what it can zoom in onto. From here. You can sit here. And zoom in on a truck and even read the license plate that far away. That is an awesome zoom. That really impressed me of how clear that can really be when you are at a event. Now that zoom works on not just photos. Also, while you are recording video, you can zoom in that quality as well. Now, let me show you uh, some clips, video clips of how well this works. Now, these video, this video clip I'm getting ready to show you, the wind that day was 20, 25 mile an hour winds. And I am going to show you, now this is from my heating and air, one of uh, just a section of one of my video of heating and air job that I had and I'm going to show you in the beginning of the video we all know what air conditions are the coil that's on a air condition that wraps around that you see that spins that has been removed from this unit and sitting on the ground by itself and it weighs somewhere around 50 60 pounds I showed that in the beginning of the video clip that I'm getting ready to show you just to give you demonstration of what it physically is then I'm going to show you the very next clip right after that will show you me working soldering on a copper line but in the background you will see that coal still sitting on the ground and you will hear the wind blow and you will see that coal actually shift it, it, it the wind was actually starting to tip it over and that's 50 60 pounds so that demonstrates how strong that wind it really is you know 25 gussing up to 30 that day when I was working and listen to the audio of the wind blowing across this, this, this very inexpensive little windbreaker that I came up with of fixing and you will see and hear physically see that sh that that coal move and you will hear the wind at the same time in real time this video clip has not been edited the audio is raw footage the video completely is exactly from the camera onto what you see it's not been altered at all and then at the end of the video clip you will see a piece of paper balled up piece of paper very quite heavy piece of paper brown paper packaging 
out of the box of the items I'm showing at the time blow across the ground a little bit. So this will give you a demonstration of how strong of the wind is and you can actually physically hear the sound of the wind blowing across this dampering device that I put on here and it's very inexpensive. It costs less than five dollars to put on here. So let me show you that video right here. Now listen real close to what the sound of the wind blowing as the gust of wind comes by and moves the coil in the background as I'm working. Now that is a lot of wind, but very little noise for something this inexpensive to knock out that much wind. So having this camera doing this little remedy here to knock out the, the blowing of the wind, I have to say this is, would be a great camera to start out with of making your videos for YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, wherever you put up videos or take pictures. This is a really nice camera that has enough features that will give you great quality. The maximum it will record is in the video is 720, 720p, which is enough for all platforms. And as I mentioned, the quality of the picture is 20 megapixels right here on the side. And on the other side, it is HD 42 optimal zoom. It is surprising no more than this camera cost of what it can actually do. You can set it to auto on video and camera for taking photos. And the footage that you saw and the pictures that you saw is all set to auto. I didn't go into the settings and change it for the lighting or anything else. I set everything on auto as you can see. Auto. Which is very easy because the auto button is right here. That's the auto button. You can set the portrait and many other ones. But I always keep mine on auto. I've tried other ones. They do um, make it a little bit better if you've got a certain image that you want to take. Like portrait and all that. You really want to tune and, you know grasp that photo and really make it pop you can make it do that by going into the settings on uh, the camera itself but if you just want to point and shoot a video or taking a picture like you out there on the beach or you out there volleyball and you just want to point see it click if that's what you want put on auto But if you really want to dial in the precise tones or, you know, shadows and everything else, I mean, all, by all means, go in there and get them settings just right. But if you don't know 
and don't know and understand all that fine tuning, but you still want to have great pictures and great video. Here you go. Just put on auto, charged battery, put your little windbreaker up the top, which I've made a video and showed you um, how to do that and where you can get the uh, equipment to be able to put that on there. And uh, go out and make your content. And it makes a great vlogging camera. You can make a you know, vlog camera out of it. Very easy to do. Lightweight. And at the same time, it, it's, it, it's just unbelievable the technology they put into this camera. The link to this camera, which is affiliate link, is in the show notes below this video in the description. If you want more detail exactly what it can do, the features and everything else, I would go through them, but this video, I don't want to make it that long when it's simply that I can give you the highlights of demonstrating of the audio, the video, and the photos that you could take with it. If you really want to get into nitty gritty of what it can do, go in the description and go to that affiliate link and read the description there and you will have all the information. And I will leave more information in the description below, but if you really want to get more you can hit the affiliate link where you can purchase it um, and see reviews actually on this camera. So if you like this kind of videos of where I do reviews in real life, um, the pros and the cons, consider subscribing because I like doing this kind of stuff. And talking about pros and cons, I've talked about what I like about this camera. Now, what I do not like about this camera is really only one thing I don't, well, two things, really. If I really want to pick, there's only two things I don't like about it. One, it don't have a flip-out reversible um, view, so I can actually do selfies and all. But usually, if you're going to look right into the camera lens... You really, you know, I've tried it and done it, and I've, on my heat and air channel, I've done it, riding down the road holding this and pointing at me, and I hit it right in the middle. So that's no problem. The only other thing that I wish it had, which you can go up a model or two, is have a plug-in for an external microphone. But that's not something, a deal breaker, or something that would stop me from buying this camera. I'm seriously thinking about buying another one so I can have two. Just in case something stops on this one or whatever. I want that camera on hand to be able to pick up, charge battery, put it on my tripod, my little Gorilla Pod, and keep on going. That's how well I love this camera. But other than that, there's other ways around it. You know, you can use your cell phone with a, with a clip-on microphone if you're going to do a, um, a recording with this sitting on the tripod. That way the audio and the video is not, dis you know, from the camera. You just synchronize them up in your software. But um, it's a great camera to start out with. Like I said, I'm thinking about buying a second one just to be sure I have it on hand in case this one conks out or if I drop it accidentally. Because I know devices, which I've done in the past, if you drop them, they don't bounce. And if they do bounce, usually they don't bounce in one piece. It's a piece over here and a piece over there. And super glue will not help you put them back together most of the time to keep them going. But thank you for watching, and hopefully this helps someone to know what camera to go get to start making their videos and their photos for whatever platform that you're making them for. So, like I said, if you like these kind of videos, 
hit that thumbs up down there. And if you want to be notified when I put up a new content, which will be, I'll be live on Sunday, and I'll be putting up a video on Wednesday and Friday. But if you want to be notified just in case you forget, or you get busy and you just over, oversight, hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification. And uh, that way you won't miss any uh, of the videos. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care.